Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this feedback amplifier circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the type of the feedback. And based on the feedback, here we have been also asked to find the input and output impedance of this amplifier circuit. So let us find that. So to find that, first let us see the sampling part. So here, across this resistor, through this coupling capacitor, we are getting the output voltage. That means here, this node will act as a output node. And here, if you see these two resistors, then they are forming the feedback network. Because here, the one end of this resistor, let's say this resistor RF is going back to the input side. That means here, these two resistors are forming the feedback network. So here, since the feedback network is directly connected to the output node, so we can say that this feedback network is sampling the voltage. Or we can say that on the output side we have the shunt connection. Similarly on the input side if you see, then here also we have the shunt connection. Because here if you observe, then here this is the input voltage. And through this coupling capacitor, this input voltage is applied to this amplifier circuit. So let's say the supplied current by this input voltage is equal to Is. So here at this node if you see, then this current is getting divided in the two branches. So this will be the feedback current, while this will be the input current. And here, since the current is getting divided in the two branches, so we can say that on the input side, we have the shunt connection. That means here, in this feedback amplifier circuit, this output voltage is sampled and it is mixed with the input signal using the shunt connection. So we know that on the output side, whenever we have the shunt connection or whenever we have the voltage sampling, then the output impedance reduces. And similarly on the input side, whenever we have the shunt connection, then the input impedance also reduces. So we can say that for the given amplifier circuit, we have the voltage shunt feedback and this amplifier circuit will have the low input impedance as well as the low output impedance. And therefore we can say that for the given question, this is the correct answer.